Alrighty, so we are here with Danielle Johnson. Um, Danielle was one of our um, one of our students at uh, during our last session, last and first session of Innovate and Create. Um, she was one of the most engaged participants, and so I've asked her to come on here today to just talk to us about her experience with getting into microblading. Um, and her experience with the program. So, hi Danielle, thank you for being hi. here. Thank you. So, why don't you tell us a little bit about um, your story? How did you uh, initially get involved in microblading? Um, and then you can work us through the moment where you thought you needed coaching. Okay, um, I got into microblading. I kind of feel like it fell into my lap um, I've always uh, had people ask me who did my eyebrows because I've always like done my own eyebrows and I have been following this girl on Instagram for maybe like two years and she was a makeup artist and I saw that she had started um, doing microblading and started advertising that she was doing training for it here in Houston and I really liked her work. And it, it was like, I just kept seeing her advertising over and over again. And so I asked a couple of friends of mine, like, well, because I have been thinking about wanting to start, in a, start a business, but I wasn't really sure exactly what I wanted to do. And, and you have a, not, a, a nine to five job. You have a full yeah. time job <laughs> with benefits and everything, but you are still tempted by the entrepreneurial bug. Yes. And I actually had previously had a business. I had a cleaning business. But it didn't take me long to figure out that that wasn't for me. <laughs> Just cleaning up after other people was not my thing. Right. Um, and since that was something like that, I kind of, I guess it was, it was something I was always good at, but never really realized it. So I brought it up to a couple of friends of mine and all of them were like, yeah, like you do your eyebrows pretty good. That's like natural. Uh, so I reached out to the young lady that did the training. I did the training, which was kind of how I got started into it, um, which leads me into how I felt like I needed coaching <laughs> because my training was terrible. It was a five-day training, but the girl that did the training was late every day. It was so many um, things that we didn't discuss or we kind of ran through pretty quickly. Um, but I still just the type of person I am, I still wanted to press on and start my business because I figured I could probably figure some stuff out on my own or just by, and I, I guess I forgot to say, I did my training last April. So it was April, 2018. And at the time I went and I was trying to Google stuff after this training about like microblade, it really wasn't a lot of stuff that I could find, which was how I found you. Um, I think I was just on Pinterest looking up different stuff about microblading and um, like business cards and stuff like that on Pinterest. And I stumbled across an article, a blog post that you did. And it was the uh, blog post about like how to get your first clients. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> that was probably the most helpful thing that I found. Yay. Because literally nothing. The only other thing I kept finding was some article that was done on some random lady who was like a stay at home mom that was doing it out of her house. So when I found that article, I was like, oh my God, this is something I can actually use. And it's actually, it was very good information for free. Um, and then that led me to read like everything on your blog. <laughs> I went through and read everything. Um, and I remember it was like a little library that you had on there. Yeah. And all of that stuff too. Um, so that helped me a, a lot because it kind of helped clear up just some kind of basic confusion that I had because the girl I took the training with, I, I really couldn't talk to her. <clears throat> it was like I would email her or call her. I would never hear from her. So right. your blog helped guide me through like the, like the first kind of haziness that I had in the beginning, um, which was what led me to the training. So I ended up following you on Instagram. And again, it was like your Instagram post would always kind of help me like, uh, and I saw that you started featuring people too, like other microblading artists. And that further helped me because I was like, okay, so I'm not the only person that's confused about right. hair strokes. So I'm not the only person that's confused about 
uh, pigment collection. So the articles with the other artists also was very helpful. Um, so when I saw you post about the Innovate and Create group, I was like, I gotta jump on this. <laughs> Because I felt like I had got so much value out of the free stuff. And I'm one of those type of people. I don't hesitate to pay for something if I feel like it's a value to me. Right. Especially if it's something that I, I feel like I, I'm not getting it on my own. Like I've had personal trainers. I've had a life coach. So I'm not a, a person that hesitates to pay for somebody that has information that I'm trying to gain. Basically. Yeah. And you'd previously, I think, paid for... Uh, some sort of similar training, right? Uh, uh, oh, a yeah. coaching program too? It was a couple of other things that I paid for before I got to you, yes. <laughs> um, it wasn't specifically about microblading, but um, it was uh, this group of girls also in Houston that they're in the beauty industry, but they, well, one of them does do microblading, but it's kind of like a service. She has a spa. And the other girl was a hairstylist. And um, I went to like an entrepreneurial event that they had. And the event was great, but it was an extra cost for you to have like a coaching call with them. And that just did not work out good at all. It was some other like business coaching that I paid for that just wasn't beneficiary to me at all. It was a lot of them just telling me stuff that I felt like I could have found online for free. Right. Um, so and, with, um, <laughs> with Innovate and Create, uh, you know, you, what, what do you remember that you ended up getting from the program? Like, what were the components of the program that you most remember? Because there were a lot of things, but uh, I'm sure, you know, you, there were a few that probably, you know, that you remember better. Yeah, for me, in general, it really, like, cleared up a lot of the things that I was kind of scattered about. Um, the main thing I think is it helped me understand a lot about um, advertising, advertising in the marketing side that I didn't understand. I, <laughs> the Instagram and all of that, if I wouldn't have had you there, because luckily I did do the program before I like launched my business, which I think was a good idea. Uh, because otherwise, if I had had my Instagram active, I would have just been posting random stuff and random hashtags and all that. And I think the hashtag research one was like the best one because every time I do post something on my Instagram, I get more followers based on the information that you gave us about how to properly use hashtags. Right. You're not randomly throwing hashtags around. Now you are intuitively putting them there for a reason. Exactly. And I, that's what I would have done had I not <laughs> taken the program. And that's just honesty. Um, another thing was the Google SEO. Even with um, like watching YouTube videos and stuff about that, it was the most confusing thing ever. And you just had a way of just really simplifying it. And I hear a lot of people say it's just confusing. And it is. But you made it make more sense. Uh, right. And I also really like just the guidance um, bec because I like I said that to, to you before, you're very patient. <laughs> and a lot of people aren't like that when they feel like you're asking them something that I guess may seem obvious to them. Um, but that was another thing, the marketing, oh, the branding part about um, knowing your target audience and all of that. I feel like that you helped kind of streamline that a lot for me uh, because I was one of those people at first, like, well, why do I, I just want anybody that want to come to me. <laughs> right. Yeah. Your audience is not everybody. Right. Not, so you helped me to understand that if my audience is everybody, then I don't have audience because right. everybody. Um, so during then, those five weeks, uh, what was your, um, what was your contact with me? Like, I mean, when did we, when did we ex when did we talk and like when did you learn all these things and how did you uh, like I guess how was the content delivered to you? Um, we talked once a week on the group calls, um, mm -hmm. which I did like that too because I liked the fact that it was other a mixture of people in their career level. Right. It was some people like me that had it. Well, I think I was the only one that hadn't started yet. But it was other people that had just started and it was other people that were, had been doing it. And I like that because it gave me the ability to ask them 
personally, like, well, how did you get from point A to point B? Right. And a lot of them threw out really good tips and ideas and stuff to me within that those group calls. So I really liked the group calls. Um, and then we also had emails uh, and um, like downloadable PDFs, mm-hmm. uh, like workbooks. That's what the, I don't know why I couldn't find it. Yeah, the workbooks. Yeah. Every week. And I really like the workbooks because I'm a written type of person. So, and I don't know about everybody else, but I actually did go through each one and complete the exercise. And there was a lot of like, sometimes there was a lot of information. Like I put videos and, you know, there were free tutorials that usually are paid for that I put there um, as included in the whole experience. So you got to see. It like, a lot, but I can honestly say that I, I went through it all. Uh, this, is, this is if you're watching and you know you're interested in innovate and create danielle is the prime example of the person that is going to get the most out of coaching because you cannot um you know pay for coaching and then say that it didn't do what you expected if you don't you know if you don't engage and if you don't take the most out of it so danielle really went through every single thing that I gave her and she like jumped on it and did her homework. And that is when it, it like, you can feel satisfied for participating in something because you will see results. Right. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and I do every, everything you told me to do, I would have my little uh, notebook on the calls and I would just be writing down <laughs> Everything that you said. And it'll sometimes be like three pages worth of stuff. But I will Yeah, because yeah, we talk every single week. We talk uh, yeah. 30 minutes. And then uh, at the first week, we talked for a whole hour. We had a video call, kind of like this one. Um, and then after that, you know, the, the weekly calls. And then after the program was over, we had uh, a remote access session, right? Um, where we jumped online. And I, I can't remember exactly what it was that I showed you. Um, we went through my website. Oh yeah, we went through your website and we like the remote, website, the Google AdWords. Right, we did we did a lot of stuff in that hour, and then a month after the program was over, we did um, a, a follow up call to see how you were doing and all of that. So, um, what like how do you feel, or where do you feel you are now as far as? how well equipped you are to handle your business uh, as opposed to where you were before the program? I feel very much more well equipped to handle it. And I think it's single handedly because of this program in the beginning I had, like I said, I was so all over the place and I didn't know what to focus more on first uh, because like I said, the training I took really wasn't that effective. And like Marisol said, I do have a full-time job, so I didn't really have the funds or the ability to just come up with another three, four thousand dollars to just up and take another class. So I was kind of in limbo. And right. like I said, also I was a lot of things that were just question marks to me about business. Period. Now I feel like I have more of a plan, like a game plan, because of the program, and <clears throat> I know. When I'm posting stuff on social media or if I'm sending out an email, I kind of know what I'm doing as opposed to just sending stuff out and hoping to get something back. Because like I said, every time I post on social media, I'm getting some result from it. Either someone goes to my website or uh, someone contacts me for an appointment or I'm getting more followers. So I know that the stuff that she taught me is effective. Uh, but I will agree with what you said. I think it's largely due to, to me doing the work. Like mm-hmm. I honestly, everything that was sent, I, I don't know about everybody else, but I looked at, did, read everything. Yeah. <laughs> like even be on my lunch break to take the calls and everything. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. It. This is something that was just unbelievable. Every time we had a group call, uh, or every time uh, Danielle and I had a 30 minute uh, weekly phone call, she was she was scheduling these phone calls during her lunch break. So we would see her in her car with her phone, but she was there. She was in a car and she probably had her lunch next to her, <laughs> trying not to eat while she's on camera. But she's this is how badly you wanted it. And it's so yeah. it's so impressive. 
uh, and it's very admirable, Danielle. This is why I wanted you to come on here today because you just are the prime example of like the dream student because you do everything and you're so, you're so um, committed and that, that is everything. That's a huge part of your success uh, in this industry will be how committed you are. Yeah. So, so yeah. So thank you so much for giving it your all. <laughs> oh yeah. And I thought I did everything. And I remember um, towards the end of it was around Thanksgiving and I had to go home to Louisiana and Marisol gave me the idea of like, well, why don't you just do some people while you're there? I'm like, I didn't even think of that. And I actually, when I was, because I remember I had, like I said, I hadn't launched anything on my social medias and I did it while being a part of the program, which I feel like was benefit. I think that was a, a blessing in disguise because if not, I would have just been putting random dumb stuff on my Instagram. Uh, but when I did start posting, I started having all these people <clears throat> from my hometown contacting me to ask me, could I do their brows? And that was something I didn't even think about. Yeah. Uh, so having the, I guess, the extra set of eyes to to kind of catch heads. things. Think yeah. better than one. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's why I said I think it, it helped me so far beyond just microblading. But in business, period, like especially the marketing part of it and all that, it helped all of that become so much less confusing and complicated. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So as far as, you know, you were you were a part of our, our first session of Innovate and Create. So you got in on uh, like a special, it was a special rate that I was offering it for. So um, considering that, how how did you feel uh, was like the the ratio of how much you paid versus how much you got? Oh, I told you that I feel like I gypped you. <laughs> 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 I, I feel like for the amount of work that I mean the value that I got out of that, I feel like I owe you money. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it was a great. Deal. Like I tell you, I swear, I will scream to the mountaintops to anybody that tells me that they are looking for that. Like you have to go. Trust me, I don't care if she's charging you a million dollars; it's worth a million dollars. Like I'm, and I sincerely mean that. It, I felt like it was an amazing deal because I got so much value out of it, and I'm still putting to use the things that you showed us in the program. Cause I think the program has been over since like December yeah. and it's March now and all that stuff I'm still putting into use, especially like you said, we had all these free videos um, and the workbooks and all this stuff that you can keep using over and over and over again. Yeah. Well, if you're smart, you'll use it over and over again. So I feel like those things by themselves were that we got for free were of a lot of value on their own just outside of the coaching um and you because, you had something very particular happen um in this you know in in this session of uh innovate and create um i have i have uh, i guess a promise that i make to people you know that i won't work with someone who's their direct competitor um so if someone's in the same city then we do a first come first serve basis um, in your case, you know, you came in after someone who was also in your city, but about 30, 30 minutes or so apart. Uh, and I checked with both of you guys to see if, 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 if it was okay for you to join. Um, and you know, she said, yes, you had no problem. And it ended up turning into something really great, right? Um, yes. <laughs> I'm actually going to her tomorrow for a refresher class. And that's um, amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. There was like real life networking that happened it really here. Was. And I actually still talk to a few of the other ladies from the program too. Um, Abby, I ha I just talked to her uh, through Instagram like a week ago. Oh, cool. Um, it was something that she had posted, like some, some advertisement she had posted. And I just had to let her know like, Girl, you, I think you, your calling is in marketing because she, she would be the one giving me the best ideas for getting clientele on the calls. Right. Uh, yeah, I talked to her like a week ago and 
I can't remember the other lady's name that lived in, I think, Maine. But yeah, a, a few of them I still talk to. Uh, so yeah, it's, that was kind of an unexpected value of the program as well, is just having people to be connected with. Because like right. I said, it means a lot to me because I like to be able to reach out to other people. Yeah. And- and that's what I'm doing. Your collaboration oh. with Nikki ended up being just so fruitful because, you know, she's she's in the same city, but she's still a ways away from where you are, but she's mm-hmm. she's farther ahead in the game. Oh, um, yeah. So she's more experienced and, uh, you know, she's she, she can sort of become a mentor to you. Um, yeah. And that's yeah. great. And I'm so happy that that happened because of the course. So, yes, yeah, because I wouldn't have met her otherwise. Uh, you know what's funny? I was following her on Instagram, and I didn't even know that was her. <laughs> right, because you know, in this field, like it's so rare for uh, women to collaborate and to like get together and actually help each other out because it's so mm-hmm. it's such a competitive field, and everyone is independent and everyone is off on their own, and so it's it's nice. I think the group component. Uh, or, or the group factor of the program is is also really great because you're not feeling alone and isolated. You, you're feeling like you have, you know, like a whole team behind you that's, you know, going through the same things, struggling with the same issues. And 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 the type of person I am, I'm I'm so not that person that's like trying to hold back information because I don't want someone to be my competition and all. So that's an, another reason I think the group thing worked for me because I'm willing to say, "Girl, do this," you know, yeah. <laughs> it'll get you some followers. Because I remember on the first phone call, Nikki telling me like, "Oh, well, I can help you with your mapping and all that," and it was just so, you know, she reached out to me. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And that's, that's good business karma. <laughs> it, is. it is. So that was an unexpected, like great thing about it. So. All right. So thank you, Danielle. Thank you so much for uh, coming on here uh, and telling us about your experience with Innovate and Create. You were by far, I think, uh, my, one of my best students yet. Uh, so thank you. And uh, I wish you all the best. Uh, I'm sure everyone who's watching is also very excited to, you know, hear you and uh, see your energy. So thank you so much for being on here and sharing your experience with us. Thank you.